that I will show the answer key on the question in the as fast trial is then number three. Question number five. We have the system two s plus y equal five s minus y equal one. So we have a b c d. So in this question, we need to find the solution s and y in here. So we know that we will sum our two equation together because the y and the minus y they will eliminate together. That's why we find the solution of x first. We have two x plus x, and uh, we have y minus y. They will eliminate together. That's why we can find the x first. 5 plus 1 because we just sum two equations together side by side that's why we have 2s plus s y minus y in here and 5 plus 1 in here so we got about 3s equal to 6 and uh, we divide both sides with 3 So that's why we eliminate number 3 in here. 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. And uh, we know that we find s equal to 2. But in the answer key, we see that only c. So that's the final answer. You don't need to find y, just care about if they have the s equal to 2. So you just choose c. Don't need to find y anymore. If you don't know how to do equation, you do you just input the answer key in one of two equation and compare the the number in here. That's why you can find the question very fast and don't need to solve the equation. Question number six: Find the correct value of four power two multiplied with four power six. We know that 4 power 2 multiplied with 4 power 6 and uh, we have the formula If we have the same base number, let's see about capital A in here and they multiply together so we have the solution, let's see about A power B plus C so in here, we can see that number 4 are the same together. So we can apply this formula. So we got about 8, 2 plus 6 is 8. So we have 4 power 8. And the answer for question is about D. Number 7, 35 is what percentage of 140? So in here, we can do a, about a small equation. We see that S is the number we need to find. And we have 104 equal to 35. Because the question they asked about what percentage of 140. Let's see about the S in here. And we need to find the percentage of S. So to do, to find the X in here, we have 35 divided 140 so we need to do division of this 35 divided 140 we can say that 35 is below than 140 so that's, we need to have one zero and a decimal number in here because we don't have enough number to do with 140. That's why we have more than zero. So we have number two and that's about 280. That is the highest with 140. 350 minus 280 is about seven. And we have another zero. 
140 multiplied with 5 5 multiplied with 140 is about 700 so that, that is 0 so after we do about division in here the answer for x is about 0 0.25 or we can write about 25 percentage so in this question the answer is about the question number 8 what's the, the scientific notation of for about 43 million two hundred thirty thousand so we know that if you want to know about the scientific notation the decimal number should be in the first digit of this number that's why we have the decimal in here however we need to move the decimal in this one go to this number between 4 and 3 so if we want to move the decimal from right to left we need to multiply with the 10 and uh, we know that how many number between uh, the this decimal to this decimal we have about seven digits we just count one two three four five six seven seven digits between uh, two decimal in here if we count seven digits that's why we have 10 power 7 and the answer for the question is about the question number 9 a boy purchased a dozen orange in trail dollar on the next day he will purchase 28 orange in 14 dollar how much will he save in purchasing in dollar per orange we know that the question they ask about a dozen twelve dollar and the next day twenty eight orange in fourteen dollar. This question they ask about the comparison between the two rates. So let's do. We know one dozen is about twelve orange. So. We need to find the rate, rate number one, that's about a boy purchase a dozen orange in twelve dollar. So the right in here, we have total twelve divided by twelve is about twelve orange in here. So we got about one dollar per orange. Rate number two. We have 28 orange in $14. So we have 40 divided by 28. We got about $0.5 per orange. So the question they ask how much will he save in purchasing in dollar per orange? This means we will compare rate number one and rate number two about the difference. So the difference. So let's say about we use the, the highest minus the lowest. So the difference in here is about 0 0.5. After we calculate the difference like this, we can see that the boy will sell 0 0.5 in a dollar per orange if he purchased on 28 orange in 14 dollars. So the answer for the question is about the question number 10. The car runs 120 miles per hour. How many miles in 10 minutes? We know that. The question they ask about to find the miles in 10 minutes but we have 120 miles within one hour 
we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes so we can put them in the ratio and we can find how many miles in 10 minutes we have 120 miles with one hour is about 60 minutes so we calculate how many miles in here and in here we have 10 minutes look that's about the ratio and we just do the formula of the ratio and find the miles in here we know 120 miles multiplied with number 10 later that we can divide to 60 part in here and we can find the miles in here so the answer for the question is about 120 multiply with 10 divided by 60 120 multiplied with 10 is about 1200 and we divide to 60 in here we have the 0 and 0 in here too so we can simplify that so we got about 120 divided by 6 we know 120 divided by 6 is about 20 so the answer for the question is about no decimals the answer for the question is about the 11 the circle has the circumference is 20 pi what is the area of the circle we know that let's see the circle and the circumference is this is about the surrounding of the circle and we know that c equal to true r pi so if we want to find the area of the circle we need to find the radius of the circle and the radius in here so we have circumference is about 20 by and we have 2 pi r we use 25 divide 2 pi in here so we have r r we signify that's about the pi and uh we have 20 divided by 2 is about 10 r and uh the area of the circle that's about the r power 2 r square of the r multiplied with pi and we have 10 in here and we have pi 10 power 2 is about 100 pi so the answer for the question is the